Good morning and welcome to the workshop. I am very happy to say I have finally received the materials and laser cut parts to start building the 5 inch gauge locomotive in anger. So there's going to be a lot more of these small parts to make, but hopefully we can start seeing the big picture come together. I'd like to thank Jonathan, aka JC Steam, for the advice he's given me with regard to the horn stay plates. Um, to cut a very long story short, I think I need to extend these centre holes to a pill shape, and that will allow the spring pins movement as the locomotive axles roll with the irregularities of the track, the spring pins will want to move back and forth relative to this face. So this, I think this needs to be opened out a little. I'd also like to thank George Clements, who suggested that these probably should be square headed bolts. And he is absolutely right. Um, that said, I have just finished making them, so I'm not going to immediately remake them, but I'm going to bear that in mind for any future fixings and maybe go back and remake these in future. Um, but yeah, they should probably be square headed. I just want to thank everyone who is reaching out to give me advice on that note, because I am self-taught. Um, I like reading, uh, so I've read a lot of old books about this stuff, um, but there's a lot to learn, obviously. So if anyone has any advice at all about what I'm doing machining wise or uh, the locomotive build in general, I'm all ears and I really, really do appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to send me that information. Thank you. Well, hello there. If it isn't a new camera mount after all this time. Now look, it works here too. So materials wise, I always order from M Machine Metals and they're not a massive company. Uh, but they seem to do me a good turn, so um, yeah, I'm yeah, sti I'm sticking with them. This is the first delivery, so we have some material here. These, This is a piece of bar that will end up being sliced up for the tender axle boxes. These are little blanks for the main axle boxes. And I'm going to attempt to do split axle, axle boxes, so I have a piece of smaller cast iron here, which I will be using to make the dropout section of the axle boxes. Um, I can't really remember what this gigantic piece of one and three eighths inch bar is for, but I'm sure it will come to me. This is a piece of three quarter inch mild steel for the axles. This is a piece of five inch, a five eighth inch uh, rod, which will be, portions of it will be used on in the cranks. I have some sundry pieces of silver steel and one long piece of mild steel. Um, these are going to be used for the spring pins and, and a few other bits and bobs. And this is a comically oversized piece for the crank webs. So actually I'm going to be slicing off little inch fillets off the end of this for the cranks uh, but you know getting two feet of it means I have uh, utility for it elsewhere I think this is a another piece of silver steel I think this one is half an inch and again can't remember exactly what this is for right now but it'll come to me I'm sure <laughs> Before I open this, we need to talk. A few weeks ago, I put a video out asking for opinions on which 5-inch gauge locomotive to build. Opinion was split fairly equally between the choices, with an emphasis on picking what I wanted to build. I hadn't seen the 3.5-inch gauge L-Class that I featured in that video until the point I was recording it, and it was having seen that, I realised, really, that's where my heart is at. I didn't mention this up till now because I wanted to ensure that the content of the channel, i.e. the machining and the learning of that, um, was independent of the specific locomotive that I chose. And hopefully, if you've enjoyed that content, you'll uh, understand that I wasn't uh, overriding the decision of the community. Rather, I was looking for inspiration, and I definitely found it. And hopefully, uh, you will enjoy this journey on me, building the L-Class, uh, but primarily making lots and lots of chips. So with that said, Let's see what's in that packet. We together are going to perform a magic trick on this bogey. So I need you to close your eyes, think happy thoughts, and then on three, two, one. Ta da! Didn't work very well, a bit dirty, and that's because you didn't close your eyes, I saw. <laughs> 